Yo, what is up guys? It is Ratcast HD here and today I am bringing you a tutorial on how to set up a new front end for your emulators. It's called LaunchBox. Um, been out for a few months I believe, but um, I've only just discovered it this last few days. Um, really enjoying it so far, it's really easy to use. Gets you all of your artwork automatically so you haven't got to go through the hassle of uploading, downloading photos, videos, all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into it. First thing you need to do is go to www.launchbox-app.com It will bring you to this beautiful page showing you the nice user interface. This is the free user interface. They have got a big picture mode also, which would be awesome for your cabinet builds and things like that. So first thing you want to do is download Launchbox. Um, you put your email address in there, press download, and you will receive a download link in your emails. Um, I already have this ready for setup, so let's get straight into the setup. Really simple process. Follow the instructions, English, yes. You accept and press next. Um, next, you want to choose your drive. I'm keeping mine on my K drive. Yours will be C drive by default. You can put this wherever you want. I don't think it affects the program at all. I've not had any uh, problems yet. Um, do you want to create a start menu folder? No, I do not. Create desktop icons. You can either check that to get a desktop icon or not. I'm not going to use that. And install. And it is as simple as that, guys. And your front end is up and running and ready to go. You'll get your direct X installation you might get an administrator password pop-up that you have to put in and here we go this is launchbox it's uh, quite a smart interface this is a video of the launchbox demo you can watch that if you want uh, it gives you all your instructions welcomes you tells you how to install your ROMs install your games everything you need uh, head over to their Facebook page as well and yeah um, I'm not gonna use any of that so once you've done that you'll get this lovely interface where you can start importing your games, your ROMs and your artwork and stuff like that. Um, you don't have to do it from this. So you can also add a games from going to your tools. You can go to import and our ROM files or whatever you want to do. Maybe you want to add Steam games or something like that. So you follow this simple instruction things. Um, import a folder or add files. I'm just going to add one game to this let's add a Wii game let's get this set up nicely um, platform so you want to select what computer console what platform um, you are going to be using so I'm going to be using the Nintendo Wii we then press next you then want to choose your emulator this will be blank for you you won't see anything in here so you will have to go through add and then once you press the add button it will come up with this Dolphin pre pop, uh, I can't even speak. Blah, 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 blah. Dolphin pre population. You will then, you can either, if you don't have Dolphin installed on your computer somewhere, then you can visit their website by clicking, clicking this button. It takes you directly to their site, gives you their latest build right there. Download it, install it, pull it where you need it, and then you will appoint launch box lost trailer for it. You'll then point launch box to where you have it. So mine is in my K drive. There it is there. Just press the open button. Job done. I'm not going to change that because I've already got that added. Uh, you will then press next. Then you have the options here to copy your files, which means copy your games or your ROMs into your launch box folder, into the games folder on launch box. So you have a permanent copy with your launch box so that means if you copy your launch box file over to another uh, HDD drive, SDD drive, uh, external USB drive, whatever you can store this on then it will be kept on there with all your ROMs or you can just basically plug and play. It's brilliant um, and launch box automatically knows when the drive letter has been changed so I read. Um, I haven't tried this out yet, I haven't changed it over to another drive, but say if I change this over to the C drive, copy and pasted it to C drive, deleted this, run it in C drive, 
it would change all the letters over for me it would know where everything is so yeah it's a pretty cool feature so this next option you can move your files into a launchbox games folder so if you've got your games stored on the c drive you can move them directly into the launchbox file won't make a copy of them so you won't have a backup but they'll be in the launchbox games file and you can move them from drive to drive like you can with a copy drive option um, the last option is to use the files in their current location so launchbox just basically gets the information from a different drive or a different location it won't copy them into launchbox itself you won't have any of the organization stuff that it does so yeah um, I'm going to personally what am I gonna do let's move move them over so next you get the option this is for your meta tags for your game so all your artwork all that good stuff um, the gamesdb.net website has got pretty much everything you can think of on there anyway so you wouldn't really need to tick the Wikipedia box unless it was a extremely rare game that they don't have which is highly unlikely because there's a really big database of games there so yeah I'm just gonna click next on that um, same again this is what you want it to search for so I want it to search for everything to make it look as good as possible um, I leave all this as default I've never had to change anything yet um, I may have to in the future if I want to do something different but at the moment the default standard two tick bottoms for the look for PDF files and also copy and move files from the same name with a different file extension um, that is recommended as well so keep that ticked and yeah I've not had a problem so far with that so so we are ready to import my game so let's import it and because my name of my game at the moment is a bit weird so to say um, it won't find any artwork so I will import that so as you can see it hasn't imported any artwork normally it will if all your game names are right or similar to the actual game name then it will find them but this is the option for if your game name isn't right you can go on to right click edit so then you are currently in the edit game thing um, you want to delete the title and change it to the name of the game which you, which you want to play so I will type in the title section the game name and then I'll so then we press the search meta tag as you can see it's found a lot of sources um, on the left hand side the source is where it's actually getting the image from or images so this is from the games db website as you can see it's got a lot um, we will click on the super mario 3 plus Wii, Wii nintendo so that game has been added and download images from the here and it will search for the front box art and back box art because none of these have been created press the download button we should yeah there we go so we have to remove these two and there we go that is it it's got the front box art the back box art you can edit all of this any way you want um, you can say that you've completed the game the game's broken if you've got a big list of games you can just mark it as broken um, all of that good stuff so next you press ok oh actually you've also got a star rating system here so if you enjoy a game you can give it five stars or one star or whatever press the ok button there we go and to launch the game as long as you've got your emulator set up correctly it's as simple as double clicking And there we go, we have a liftoff. So yeah guys it is as simple as that to add games you can do exactly the same process that we just went through with every single system you can think of um, well that I know of so far I'm not explored every system yet. I've done Mega Drive Mass System, Super Nintendo, Nintendo, um, PSP, 
um, and all that good stuff and yeah it all works really well it's very smart um, I'm not too sure about having my background in this section here but when you do click on other games that have artwork it will display in the back instead of your background so it's not too bad I just don't like the standard default setting of having my background here um, there might be a way to change it I'm not too sure yet I've not really looked deep into that because I've been trying to get everything working so my next video I want to do is on the big box mode not too sure if I'm gonna be able to do that yet um, it is a premium license thing uh, this is a free version you get all this standard it's completely free guys go download it try it out but if you want to get the big picture mode which is this I'll show you a demo let's fast forward it a little bit so it looks like this so you've got all your videos your game information developers box art scroll box down the side of all your games on it it looks really really good um, if you want this kind of stuff then yeah you're gonna have to get the premium license which I believe where is it? $20. So yeah, I am thinking about getting it. I'm not too sure yet. Um, but if you guys want me to make more reviews, then I will definitely, definitely get my hands on a copy of this for you. Um, show you how to add videos, all the information here, all that good stuff. I'm sure it's very simple. But yeah, let me know what you want to see, guys. Um, Please share this video on Twitter, retweet the shit out of it. Um, try and get at least 50 retweets on this one. Done quite well on my other videos, so I thank you for that. Um, and this is also my first kind of review and how to set up video on something. Something that I'm going to get into a lot more. I enjoy all this kind of stuff, especially with the retro arcade gaming and the front ends and stuff like that. I've been using Hyperspin, but it's so complicated it takes so long to set up this is just so simple it finds all the artwork for you like why would you want to take hours and hours to set something up that has a little scroll wheel which sometimes is extremely laggy on the side when you can use something like this which is in my opinion it's much more superior um, there's a few things that I hope they add um, to this I'm not sure if you can already do it I've seen people adding comic books digital comic books to a section on here I'm not sure how they've done that yet I'm sure it's pretty simple but I'd like to see like sections for games for videos for comic books for artwork just different sections like maybe a, a panel bar up here where you can scroll through them um, yeah I think that'd be a pretty cool idea something I'd definitely like to see in the future of this is uh, still in its very early stages but at the moment I'm sure you can all agree it's very simple, it's easy to use, looks good. And yeah, um, if you want to see any more systems set up as well, please give me a like and comment below to let me know what system you'd like to see set up. So thanks for watching guys, I appreciate it. If you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm also a gaming channel, do a lot of gaming stuff on this channel. Um, so if you want to see any more videos like this then please give me a thumbs up comment below so i know i'm not wasting my time making a video that nobody's gonna watch at the end of the day but yeah i appreciate all your time guys um, i hope this helps you out a lot um go check out the developer he's really awesome um i will put his twitter link in the description i'm sure if you've got any questions you can ask him as well um but yeah apart from that guys i appreciate your time thanks for watching have a good christmas much love